hi and thank you for tuning into this video the title is spring cleaning gone wild why I deleted so many of my old videos now the title itself basically describes the motivation that I had when I decided to delete so much of my past content and I mean I got rid of videos about extraterrestrials about experiences I had in India uh, about things that were personal to me, like the tarot card readings I used to offer in Vancouver. And a lot of you have commented asking, does this mean I no longer believe in any of that stuff? The answer is no. I still validly appreciate and have tons and tons of gratitude for all the experiences that I've had that I shared in those videos. However, I'm at one of those turning points in my life where I can really feel it's time for a fresh start. Spring cleaning when it comes to physicality refers to what? Sweeping up the cobwebs in the corner, vacuuming, donating whatever clothes we don't wear anymore to charity, washing up all the dishes, scrubbing the floor. When springtime comes around, if we want to take our place to the next level, if we want to redecorate, we're not going to paint a fresh coat of paint on our walls over top of some crumbling wallpaper because it's gonna look kind of crappy, right? If you have crumbling wallpaper and you put a coat of paint over top of it, that paint is going to chip. It's not going to be a solid, strong coat. It's not gonna look nice. It's not gonna be fresh. It's not actually going to be clean. If you wanna clean your place, you're not just going to sweep the dirt under your carpet or pile the mess in the closet and close the door because at some point you're going to have to deal with that mess, right? The same way I felt like if I start making new videos about what I'm going through now at this point in my life, while still keeping so much content on YouTube that I'm now kind of questioning, that I'm personally not so sure about anymore, it would be just like piling all that garbage in the closet and trying to act like my place is clean. For me, the rejuvenating energy of spring is like that energy to plant new flowers, to change up what we're doing and to take ourselves to the next level to become better than we were before. That's what I'm trying to do in my own life by rejuvenating my Etsy shop, by making more jewelry designs, by changing my personal style. But it's not just a surface level physical thing. It's also a very deep inner process that I'm going through. While I do love all the experiences I spoke about on previous YouTube videos, the reality of my life is that when I was actually in India, I wasn't 100% authentic and happy and excited about everything I was sharing. Seeing as I created all of those videos from the context of getting to India, it feels to me as if keeping them online is somewhat irresponsible. Those videos didn't lead me to what I considered to be the best possible space for myself anyhow. So why would I leave them out there as signposts to mark other people's journeys if I feel as if I was going in the wrong direction? It's kind of like if you're on a road trip and you're following GPS and then you discover a detour that your GPS doesn't tell you about so you turn sharp left and you go somewhere unexpected and you wind up not really liking where you turn out. You're not going to tell everybody else, hey, you should follow this road, you should turn here, you should go there, you should do this, you should do that. Because that would be leading other people down a path that you didn't really want to go. If you decide to backtrack, return to the starting point, maybe buy a new map, maybe start over again, if somebody asks you, how do you get to where you're going to go next? You'll start from the same fresh slate when you're talking to them as you're starting with your own life. In my experience, that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm spring cleaning not just my apartment here in Toronto, but my entire freaking life. And so why would I share with all of you guys content that I feel took me onto kind of a detour that I wouldn't necessarily take again, when instead I can share with you where I am now? And so with all due love and respect to Sanatana Hindu Dharma, to the extraterrestrials I used to have so much fun researching about, to the Arcturians, to everything and everyone I've ever spoken about, to love and light, to all of those great goddess meditations I used to speak of, with all due love and respect to them, 
that's not something that I personally want to do anymore. I'm no longer reading tarot cards, so why am I going to tell all of you about tarot when I feel as if it was a fun experience that ultimately didn't lead me to where I wanted to be? Instead, I'd rather share with you what I find exciting and inspiring now. Back to the reality. I used to talk in my videos in a way that my own mother described as ranting. She said she couldn't even watch my own videos because it felt like I was just ranting angrily about stuff. And given that might still happen, especially if I talk about animal rights and why I'm vegan and cruelty free and the no fur stuff, because come on, when people exploit animals, it pisses me off. I might still go into some rants from time to time. But I used to speak rather condescendingly towards other traditions, towards other teachers, towards other practices, because I was so gung-ho and driven by what I thought was right, I had absolutely blinded myself to the possibility that other people's perspectives, other people's opinions, and society in general might also be onto something good. I criticize things like jeans, but now I wear jeans almost every day. I spoke about the glory of wearing just a uh, one-piece sari every day, but I'm not wearing that anymore. Naturally, I'm not going to promote something on my channel that I don't personally practice. I believe very, very strongly in avoiding hypocrisy at all costs. Somebody commented on my last video saying, oh God, is this channel going to be just one big Etsy commercial? Gosh, no. But am I going to wear pieces that I make for my Etsy shop in every video? Absolutely, yes, because that's what I'm doing now. This channel is like my sacred space to be myself, to express, to speak, to share, and to connect with you guys. I'm really at a good place in my life right now as far as gratitude to everything and everyone is concerned. I'm feeling rooted once again. I'm back in Canada, my home country. I'm talking regularly to my mom and I mean props to moms out there everywhere because they keep us all sane. And I'm having so much fun with my art and with my jewelry that for sure that's what I'm going to share. But I also want to start doing more vlogs, maybe take you guys on a walk through my neighborhood here in East York, Toronto to show you where I go to the post office every day with my packages. Maybe I'll take you to the beach. There's some beautiful places here. Um, the Great Lakes. It's stunning. I've never been to, you know, the huge falls before. I mean, I think I was there once when I was like three, but it's been so long I'd like to go again. There are so many things I'm looking forward to doing, like in the summertime, going back on another road trip through the mountains. This channel is never going to be just an advertisement for my shop, but it is going to be a space where I express what I'm into now. I'm not gonna do another big, huge purge and delete a bunch more videos again, because I feel those of you who have commented when you say, you still resonated with some of those and you still liked some of those. So my sincerest heartfelt apology if I've gotten rid of anything that you really loved and that you really felt blessed by or that you decided you wanted to keep as a part of your life. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. I deleted those really impulsively, but at the same time, sorry, not sorry. I'm kind of glad I got rid of them because this does wipe the slate clean for a fresh beginning. What I'd like to offer you here is the freedom and the space to comment whatever you want to comment about everything I've ever done before, and I will not delete a single comment. You can be harsh, you can be critical, you can be friendly, you can be excited, you can tell me what you missed that I had on the channel before, and I will remake those videos if you want. I will share those stories again from the perspective I'm carrying now, if you want me to. Just tell me what you want. Basically, I love YouTube as a forum to speak my little heart out because I don't always have people to share the things I share with on this channel. And so if there's something that you wanna talk about, let me know in the comments. And if there's something that you want to see going forward, if there's any questions you have, feel free to ask and I would love to be as open as possible in my answers. Now, all of that said, when it comes to reinventing ourselves and to cleaning up the inner space, I'm a really strong believer 
that the truth will always prevail. The truth is ultimately the greatest gift we all have, being grounded in reality. Now the truth is, I absolutely love everybody. I love you, I love the people on the street, I love animals, I love everyone I met in India. I don't carry any hard feelings towards any institution, any organization, anything or anyone. Now those places I've been don't all resonate with me anymore. I would never want to go read tarot cards at the tarot room in Vancouver again. I've been there, I've done that. I don't really feel like doing it again. I'm not so intent on living in Alberta anymore. Why? I mean, it's a beautiful landscape, but it's a little too close to the beef industry for the comfort of this hardcore vegan. I wouldn't want to go back to India because quite frankly, that lifestyle started to feel more oppressive than expansive. I'm all about freedom. I'm all about choice. I'm all about loving life and just jumping into it with both feet. What do you guys want to do? What's your goal this spring? In the past, I've made videos prompted by the guru I was following, saying, whatever you want to create, I will bless you to create it. I'm a little more practical now. I don't believe that one person's word can make whatever you want become a reality. That might be a little naive. And of course, I've been gullible in the past, so forgive me for that. But I am here to create what I want as a reality and I also want to encourage you and inspire you, not through any divine mystical powers, but through a heartfelt excitement in life and gratitude to you for continuing to watch my videos and to support me as I go through this transformation. I likewise want to support you and encourage you through your life's transformation. This might be a little strange to hear because you've probably seen me in videos with lots of other people, interviewing participants in programs, talking to the others who lived in that same place in India where I was living. You've probably seen me talking to many, many, many people in those now deleted videos on this channel. But at the end of the day, I feel a deep yearning to get to know you better, you, my viewers. Any of you live in Toronto, let me know in the comments. Let's have a meetup and get together for like, you know, some chai soy latte somewhere. Let me know. I really mean it when I say this is a new beginning in my life. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm ready to start fresh. Sorry, not sorry. I deleted all those videos, but let's get it this springtime. Clean up whatever needs to be discarded and plant the seeds that are going to bloom into the greatest fall time harvest for this year. So what's my main goal? I want to expand my jewelry line, get into some of the local stores around Ontario, around Canada, maybe even get featured in a fashion magazine. I'm not afraid to admit this anymore. Geez, I love fashion, I love clothes, I love design, I love femininity, makeup, hairstyles, all of that stuff that the typical average girl would like. And I used to try to hide that. There's a beauty and a mysticism and a divinity in the sannyasis in India. I bow to everyone who decides to go beyond the attachments of day-to-day -day society. But at the same time, I love society. I want to be a part of this society once again. And I appreciate everything that I've learned from people in all the jobs I've ever worked, in the schools I've gone to, at the Emily Carr University, despite my many complaints about that place when I was going there. And those of you who have been critical in my comment section in previous videos, I thank you and I appreciate the perspectives you've given me also and I've sort of come around to realizing you were right about a lot of the stuff you were saying. And so let's get real with ourselves more and more. I told you what my next major goal is. Oh yeah, and I also wanna publish another coloring book. So do you guys like abstract art? Do you like adult coloring? Do you think it's a silly fad or do you think this is something I should pursue? Let me know your feedback. I've given you tons of advice in the past on this YouTube channel. Now I'm asking you for some. What do you think I should do with my jewelry? What do you think I should do with my art? and who wants to get together for a Toronto meetup. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. 
I look forward to reading your comments on this one. And I should tell you which pieces I'm wearing from my shop this time, because come on, that is something I'm going to do. That's my, I don't want to say bread and butter, that's my bread and coconut oil. That's how I live my life. So yeah, you're right, I have promoted my Etsy shop a lot. Yes, that's commercial. Yes, that's like an advertisement, but it's also stuff that I like and that I wear. So in this video, I'm wearing a fluorite pendant. That's a chunky, multicolored rainbow fluorite. You can see the stripes of green and purple, one of my favorite stones, along with aquamarine for creative speaking, for the freedom to express vocally, blue spotted quartz, and prehnite, a stone for connecting with those in other dimensions, as well as pink lapidolite, a stone for self-love, self-acceptance, and self-esteem. My self-esteem has been going up and down a lot lately as I've been riding the wave of this change, but I'm committed to sharing as publicly as I can despite all of those ups and downs. And that stone for me really represents owning our inner spaces once again, despite setbacks, despite self-criticism, despite regrets, and despite all of those very human things that come up in life when we change our minds about stuff. And so of course, this is not actually suede or leather, this is a vegan version of faux leather. And I'll put this in my shop later today. It's an older piece, but newly redesigned. And I'm also wearing my typical stack of bracelets. This one I made specially for spring with prenite, serpentine, and lilac lipidolite. I'm surrounding myself with lipidolite lately. Come on, boost that boost that self-love once again. And this piece is also lipidolite, black obsidian for psychic protection, and rose quartz for love. It's like a shield for the heart, but in a good way, where we don't close people off, where we let them in, radiate love, but are less likely to get hurt. So let me know, what do you feel like I should do in my next steps? What do you want to do in your next steps? And how can we get it? How can we make this life even better and better and better? So for those of you who have been with me on this channel, thank you. For those of you who are joining new, welcome and thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in next videos. Bye for now.